Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the Beyond the Basics Unreal Engine tutorial series. I decided to change the name of the series to Beyond the Basics um, from Unreal Insights because the old name Unreal Insights actually matches a system that already exists in the engine and I just wanted to avoid confusion with somebody, you know, might be looking up a tutorial on Unreal Insights and my videos show up. So I decided to change the name, but whatever. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to import a CSV file such as from Excel or Google Sheets into your data tables within Unreal Engine 5. This can be extremely useful when dealing with data tables that hold a large amount of data with even hundreds or thousands of rows. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to have a data table. Um, that's a data table created using a structure. And if you do not have that, then you can watch my last video on how to create data tables and use them. In that video, I covered how to create a data table and a structure. And in the most simple form, I made a very, very, very simple data table with just two variables within it. And that is actually the data table we will be using today. If you already know how or you already have a data table, though, then you already can skip that step. Skip that step. So anyway, we're going to want to open up our data table, which we have here, the DT underscore player name randomizer. We have the rows here. And as you can see, this is an extremely, extremely simple example of a data table, but it will work. This method will work for any size data table. It can have hundreds of variables if you want with thousands of rows. So this data table just has two variables, the name and the age of random people. And the name is a string and the age is an integer. What we're going to want to do is we're going to go back to our content browser. We're going to right click on our data table and click export as CSV. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm just going to call this player name randomizer. Uh, yeah, we can just call it that. Click save. And then we are going to want to go to our CSV editor, whether that be Excel or Google Sheets. Today, I will be using Google Sheets. All right, once we are in Google Sheets, we're gonna to want to head and click on the blank option here to start a new spreadsheet. I am then going to go to File, Import, go to Upload, Browse, Show All Files, Desktop, and I'm going to find my CSV, which as you can see, if I type in P, it shows up, Player Name Randomizer. Go ahead and click on open and let it upload. Keep all of this as default and then click import data. Now your spreadsheet will match that of your data table. So you can see we have the rows here, the name and the age, just like we have in our data table. So now what we can do is we can actually rename this. I'm going to rename this to uh, player name randomizer. And we can go and add some rows. So let's go ahead and add row underscore n, which of course you don't have to follow this naming convention for your rows. That's just how I like to do it. And let's add a new name and say it's Billy Bob. He's 27. Do row underscore 11. And do, uh, I don't know, Jessica. She is 19. Let's do row underscore 12 and let's add Bobby. He is 457 years old. Cool. So we have added these three rows here. We've added Billy Bob, Jessica and Bobby and with the ages 27, 19 and 457. So as you can see, they are in our CSV in Google Sheets. But they are not in our CSV in Unreal Engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file download and choose comma separated values as you can see it gets saved straight to our downloads folder so now i'm going to go back in the engine i'm going to go to the content browser i'm going to right click on our data table and click re-import with new file i am then going to choose the most recent download as you can see i did some tests beforehand and i'm going to click open and you should see this success right here on the right and once it is successful you will see that we have our three new entries we have billy bob Jessica and Bobby. And that is basically it. You have now edited a CSV, a data table in Google Sheets and re-imported it back into the engine. It is very important to note that if you make any changes to the rows in that CSV, I believe when you re-import it, those new variables will appear, but the engine may not have a good way of knowing what exact variables you were trying to use and it won't match the structure. So there could be some errors going on there. But this is how it works. This is everything you need to know with 
importing CSVs into the engine. I will have some more in-depth tutorials on more data table stuff later, but I just figured I'd, I'd pump this one out really quick just to get a quick little shot at you guys on how to do that because I've had some questions asked um, just about a simple, simple way to do that. So hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, uh, all of our links are in the description below if you want to join the community. And yeah, it's always uh, show your support. We, I always appreciate the comments and, and hearing back from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.